Hey, what's going on Facebook? I hope you guys are doing great today. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. I am coming to you live from Salt Lake City, Utah, where I spent the last four days uh, in a conference and met some really great people. But I did learn a lot of things from this conference and I want to share a few things with you. And by the way, it's beautiful out here. It's like 70 degrees. Uh, you're 4,000 feet above sea level and the weather's just outstanding. So I'm just sitting here in one of the coffee shops and I just, I've just got my notes. <laughs> and I want to share with you uh, from a conference that I attended over the past couple days. And I'm just gonna throw out some random things I think are super important for you to think about. Um, this is all based on me wanting to continue to drive my, uh, my own personal entrepreneur journey and also to build my businesses. So a couple things I wanted to just share with you some notes. I mean, I probably took five, six screens worth of notes, but let me go through a couple of them right now so you can have them uh, and you can replay this uh, video a little bit later. So number one is uh, you have to have a belief mindset and that means that you have to believe not only in the products or services that you represent from your own company, but you have to also believe in your ability to knowing that you can accomplish anything. You know, nobody really cares how much you know until you show someone how much you care. It's a great quote by Zig Ziglar. And the fact is that if, that if you truly believe in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, and if you have tenacity and if you have passion for something, it's really important that you continue to believe in yourself because belief is gonna is gonna carry you through those tough times because listen hey high tides uh, float all boats but if you don't believe in yourself and your ability to get things done then how do you expect other people to believe in you so that's one of them second thing is to be authentic and authentic is a, is a tough thing for people because they think authentic is just this word that gets thrown around a lot and a lot of times it does get thrown around authentic being authentic is meaning is saying what you mean and meaning what you say without any question of interpretation so let me give you an example um, I there are things I just don't like in business and if I tell you I don't like them I really don't like them it's because I'm being authentically honest right um, I can give you other examples but I don't want to carry I don't want to get too much into this uh, into this particular video about about that but so first one is belief second one is authenticity second is my phone here uh, is be servant uh, be a servant meaning you have to have a servant mentality. So one, uh, two questions David Meltzer, I don't know if you guys know David Meltzer, but I'll put his contact information here in the, in the chat. David Meltzer talks about the two questions you should always ask, always ask people. One is you wanna ask, how can I serve you? What can I do to help you make your life better? You know, and whether you're in network marketing or being an entrepreneur running your business or you're a coach or you're in real estate, you always have to ask, how can I serve you today? What can I do to help you become better? Second thing is, you want to ask is who else do you know that I can help and serve right so two, two big questions that uh, David Meltzer taught me so I want to share with you so those are um, uh, be a servant leadership uh, the other one is own your time owning your time here's the thing if you don't own your time your time is gonna own you everyone's gonna say hey listen Anthony I need five minutes oh hey can I interrupt you for a second and what happens is if you're working on building your business I, again if you're an entrepreneur and you're building your business you have to guard your time like you guard air in your lungs, right? Because if you don't guard your time, your time will be taken away before you know it. You know, my wife and I had a conversation this morning. She said, well, you know, you have four hours with this consulting client. You, know, you have another 10 hours of other stuff you can do. You can carve out another four hours to do the work with this client. I'm like, yeah. And what I've done is I've tried to do a better job of, of being a, a good scheduler when it comes to managing my time. Um, you can have, so, okay, here's the next one. So it's, um, you can have excuses or you can have choices, but you can't have both. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. You can have excuses or you can have choices. You can't have both. You know, everyone is, a, is about, well, you know, I didn't have enough time. I was too tired. I didn't get to the gym. There was too much going on in my life. My kids, my wife, my job, my back, my breathing problem, my headache, my allergies. I live in the wrong town. I live in the wrong state. I'm too old, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny. It's exhausting, right? Those are called excuses. Then you can have what they call choices, right? Instead of saying, I'm too tired, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get up in the morning, I'm gonna go to the gym, or I'm gonna not have that extra piece of cake, I'm not gonna have that extra cookie, right? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna make one more phone call. I'm, I'm gonna make one more appointment. I'm gonna do one more outreach, one more overview, one more appointment, one more meeting, right? It's, it's a choice. So you, you can have excuses, you can have choices, you can't have both. Um, so the last thing is, there's, there's two reasons why people want to build their own business. This is probably going to be the, the biggest takeaway from this video, guys, is there are two reasons why people build a business on their own. Now, I'm not talking about being a, just a coach 
or a real estate broker, or if you're a plumber, an electrician, or if you're a chiropractor, if you're a dentist, or if you're a network marketer, this has to do with anything having to do with you building your own business. And I'm gonna read the notes from a slide that I took a picture of at this conference, and, and here's, here's, here's the number one reason why people choose to go into their own business. It's they want to build a business where they can be the boss, control their destiny, control their time with no employees, uh, no headaches, and no risks, okay? Now, the only part I don't agree with is there's no risk. Well, there is no risk, but there is a risk when you go to work for someone full-time because, you know, they could wipe you out in a second. A friend of mine works for one of these high-end gyms, and he does pretty well there, and I said, dude, here's the thing. That company tomorrow could come out with horrible earnings or they could say, listen, we're gonna make a sweeping change and I don't care if you've been there two years or five years, they're gonna wipe you out. So you gotta think every two years or three years, someone's gonna put you on the chopping block. Now, that, I learned that the hard way because it happened to me. It happened to me. I, I remember one time I was working for a company and I, got the, I felt like the rug got swiped out from under me but then again, when I look back on it, there are things I could have done to prevent it. So that's, that's reason number one why people uh, want to operate their own business. Here's reason number two. It's they want a long-term, reliable, residual income that is willable. Now, think about that for a second. For those of you, I'll talk to, you, to network marketers for a second. For those of you that are in network marketing, if you're in a company where you have to continue to buy products to get bonus and advancement points, and you're not getting checks in return, that's not a residual income willable business. That is, you're buying products so the people at the top of that organization can make money and get advancements because you're buying more product. Okay? So think about that. So that's for network marketers. Guys that are in the coaching business, if you're out there and you're, you're basically trading time for money, if you're a coach and you're trading time for money, there's going to come a time where you're going to either run out of clients or you're gonna run out of time. I don't know which one you wanna run out of first, but if it were me, right, I would wanna have more clients and less time and I'd rather be able to duplicate myself so I don't have to trade time for money. Here, here's something really important. When you trade time for money, you still have a job, okay? I'm not saying for those of you who have a job, it's a bad thing, but here's the thing. J-O-B means just over broke. Right, you have a job just over broke, but if you want to create a sustainable, willable income, you have to stop trading time for money. Because trading time for money is is is, is gonna you're gonna hit up against a brick wall, and it, it's not gonna do what you want. So let me wrap up by saying thank you guys for being here. Let me a couple more things, and then I'm gonna finish this video. And I'm gonna actually share this video out. I'm not gonna delete it like I usually do. I'm actually gonna share it out. If you found this valuable, please share it out with somebody. Share it out with somebody who's struggling with whether they want to build their own business or whether they want to be an entrepreneur or they're just going through some challenges in their life and they want to figure things out. And maybe they built their business and maybe they haven't been able to, to come to a point where they can say, hey, listen, I really want to take this seriously and make it willable and make it really residual. So two reasons why people open up their own business or two reasons why people want to build their own business. Number one is they want a business where they can be their own boss they can control their time, control their destiny with no employees, and, oh, and and have no risk. Okay. Second one is they want a long term. They want a long term, reliable, residual income that is willable. So think about that, guys. Think about that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, know me, my name is Anthony Conklin. I run three businesses. I won't share it here. You can look in the notes and share it out. If you found this video valuable, please make sure you share it out, guys. It's super, super important that you play this. I want you to play this video again. I know it's probably five, six, seven, eight minutes long, but play this video again, and I promise you, you'll take one or two or three different nuggets away every time you watch it. I know you will. And I'm also going to post it up on YouTube. I'll post it up on Instagram so you guys can enjoy it later. Listen, don't forget you have greatness within you. You were born for greatness. You were born to make massive, massive changes in the world and make massive changes in not only in your life but the people's, people's lives that you touch every single day. Don't forget to live a passion every day. Find something that gets you going in the morning, that gets you going at night, that keeps you going, and that you can pay it forward to someone else. Have yourself a great day, you guys. Until next time, I'll see you soon.